I joined a strict religious sect in 2006. I had just turned 18. I got pregnant at 16. I was living at home. I had a friend that I'd known from school who had a child as well. This person's been calling me and calling me and calling me. You know, I really want you to come here. This is a safe place. It was a Christian place. In the end of it, I gave in. When I got there, she introduced me to a woman who said her name was Queen Antoinette, and I later found out that her real name was Tony. When I met her, her intake process was like a screening for vulnerability. How hurt are you? How much will you believe? She took in a bunch of teenagers and their babies, and the way that it was put to me was just take this time, be here with your son, and just be his mom. You don't have to worry about clothes, food, anything. At the time, I'd just gotten there. So my family was looking for me. And so in order to protect me, I needed to always have someone with me. I'm not allowed to go out by myself. I was asked to burn my personal documents, social security card, ID. As time went on, the rules that were put in place to quote unquote protect us started to feel a lot more like we're just under control. We have no freedom. You cannot be disobedient. If a person did not follow a rule, the entire household will pull away from you. Queen Antoinette is a dangerous person. She's got no empathy. She didn't care about anything but maintaining control. Maria, I'm glad you're here. Sorry, I need a, I need a, I need a breath. I haven't seen that face in a long time. I understand. Just take your time, take a deep breath. Okay. Rhea, a lot of people are always curious about how someone gets lured into a situation where they kind of give up control. And I'm interested in talking about what promises were made to you by this One Mind Ministries that made you want to be there. Oh, uh, well... Uh, safety, um, you know, not having to, <clears throat> not having to worry about m my safety, my son's safety, security. And at one point, your mother dropped you off at the park to meet your friend. O on that day, did you plan to not go back? Yes. So, but your mother didn't know that. She did not. So you took some essentials with you and went to the park and. Yes. And. Um, was that a difficult decision to make? Yes and no, because I did not want to run away. But the situation that I was in, I felt that this is, this is what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Because at home, where you had been, you actually worried uh, about your safety, your child's safety. Yes, I dealt with a lot of things for a while. And one of the things that I feared the most was that once I had my son, that it would spread to him. And I actually, I, I came home and I saw something being done to him. Then that was my deciding moment. At that moment, when I saw physically with my eyes someone trying to hurt my son, at that point, there was no more talking about anything. I was mm -hmm. gone. So you wanted to be safe and you wanted to live a better Christian life. But there were a lot of rules. Um, you know, you're not allowed to be by yourself which at first was, was for our safety. You don't go out because people are looking for you and you don't want to go back to where you ran away from, so we keep you safe in that way. Looking back now, are you aware that the idea was to destroy your identity and create a whole new identity that was tied to them? Yes, and, and you know what? To be honest, at that time in my life, it did not sound like a bad idea. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.